mass confiscation of wealth is going to occur. It has already occurred in many countries around the world and throughout history. Today I'm going to talk about certain situations that you need to be ready for and you need to be prepared for because they're coming down and I'm going to show you it is not just Cyprus that has this coming. Take a look at this. This is the IMF suggesting a one-off capital levy. Look what they said. A sharp deterioration of the public finances in many countries have provide the interest in a quote capital levy a one-off tax on private wealth as an exceptional measure to restore debt sustainability so they're saying we can take a little bit off the top from the wealthy people so-called wealthy people and we can take that tax and we can put it and we can use that to stabilize their system so while they can go out and gamble and do all these all this criminality they could then take the hard-working people and they could take money right from them that's how this begins that's how all taxes begin Begin. They start with 1% and then next thing you know it's 10 and 20 and 50% and then if you're like in France it is up to 100%. That's how this begins and this is the IMF. This is right from their website suggesting this. And what about this? Exclusive, an EU executive sees personal savings used to plug the long-term financing gap. So they're saying that they can dip into individual savings in order to recapitalize this fraudulent system. This has now been a very serious suggestion. This is not just some economist or analyst. This is actually EU executives going out there publicly stating that they should use private and personal accounts to plug this system. This is very frightening. And if you're thinking, these are just suggestions, this is not going to happen here. Yeah, you know, it did happen in Cyprus, but they're not much. They're a small country. Well, what about this? This is right in the 2013 budget for Canada. And right here, it says specifically, the government proposes to implement a, quote, bail-in regime for systematically important banks. So if I go on just one more sentence, the regime will... Uh, the regime will be designed to ensure that in the unlikely event of a systematic important bank depletes its capital, then they can recapitalize it. So let me translate that into English here. It's saying that if one of the banks starts to go bankrupt, we can dip into that account or all those accounts and we can skim off the top just like they did in Cyprus. What they'll do is they'll call a bank holiday, so they'll suspend all transactions within the bank. They close all the banks and the next day when it opens, not only only has your bank been confiscated to a certain percentage, whatever they deem fit, but you cannot take out the remainder of your money. You will be limited on withdrawals. This is what they've done so many times throughout history. This is what I'm warning about. And it is not just the person saying this now. This is not just the IMF saying, hey, look, this is a, su a suggestion. This is now in the budget. And for example, I'm just showing you one here. This is in Canada's 2013 budget put right in there into black and white. And what about this? Poland, for example. This is, this is all over the world. Poland suggests they are actually going ahead and taking the private pension funds and basically confiscating them and putting them into the public sector. And who knows what they've done with it? Is it, it is, in a way, a confiscation of their assets. So no longer are they able to do what they want. The government just came in and swiped them up and said that this way they'll have a more stable system. I don't care who it is, if it's the government, if it's a company, if it's an individual, if they're taking what's supposed to be yours, that's called confiscation. Let's go on. Mark Faber suggests right at the bottom here. I'll just highlight it. And from now onwards, in my view, the bailouts will also be the expense of the asset holders, the well-to-do people. So if you have money, I'm sure that the governments will one day take away 20 30% of my wealth. Mark Faber is worried about this, and so am I. Why? Because they've done it before, and then there are many instances where they've come out publicly and stated that they're going to do this. They're going to go in, they're going to dip their hands into either the people's accounts or their pension funds. Either way, individuals who are not prepared are going to be doomed. And let's go on one more thing here. And according to Jim Rogers, he's saying they're not going to take away the bank accounts, but they will take away the retirement accounts. And that's going to hurt even more because the individuals who need those retirement accounts to survive are not going to have that. So what they have to do is then go on to the welfare system if that country provides it, and they will undoubtedly be subservient 
to the government. So this is something that I've been talking about for so long. I've been harping on this and I'm hoping people are listening because when you keep your money in this system, it is ultimately under their control. You think you put your money in the bank, you'll be able to get it back. But try, just try to take out a large sum of money for a bank. Number one, they will not have it there, chances are. And number two, they will hound you and question you so much about why you're taking that money out what are you doing with this money they need to fill out all sorts of paperwork even though you think that that's your money it's not your money you do not own this money this money is owned by these central banks these semi quasi government institutions and ultimately your money is not yours so that's why we need to own real assets that's real estate that's land that's collectibles that's gold and silver precious metals junk silver storable food so on and so forth you know where i'm going with that be prepared get prepared i hope you all are reading my book i hope you all are getting on the insiders i'll get into that right now this is basically an extension of the work i've done in my book where i can get to individuals through their email i can send you that directly and we can continue on this conversation at a different time on a different venue i hope you'll join the other people on there it's growing very rapidly now and i appreciate all the positive uh, word that I've been getting on there and I hope most importantly that you'll prepare for your family.